let's look at the different solutions or amino acids and proteins that we'll, we will be testing during the experiment. Um, this first one up here is glycine. And this amino acid is tyrosine. We need to look at those structures to interpret some, or predict some of these results. Um, okay, and then, um, so those are the two amino acids that we're testing. On glycine, it's our group is just that hydrogen right there. On tyrosine, we have a phenyl ring. So when we have a test that, that requires that, it'll be positive. And for glycine, it won't be. So biuret, what does biuret test for? It tests for a peptide bond. Well, a peptide bond occurs between uh, two amino acids in a protein. So if you don't have peptide bonds, you don't have a protein, these will both test negative. They're just individual amino acids. And in hydrin, what does it test positive for? It tests for a free amino group. And every amino acid has one of those. Um, right here's these. And so amino acids test positive. The xanthoprotein test, it tests for the phenyl ring. And for these two amino acids, um, our tyrosine has that, but our glycine does not. And so we're going to expect it to be, for glycine it's negative, and for tyrosine it's positive. Okay, let's look at our proteins. And I don't have their structures up here, but I can tell you that both of these proteins are complete proteins. Um, so they have all of the essential amino acids, including uh, two that are aromatic, that have the phenyl ring. So we need to know their sources too. Casein, of course, comes from the milk. You're going to isolate that one. Albumin comes from egg whites. Okay, and they're complete proteins. Okay, so back to what um, they test for. So the, the um, biuret tests for the peptide bond, and these are proteins, so they should both test positive. Ninhydrin tests, um, it tests for this NH2 group. Well, in a protein, those groups on the amino acids are lost when they make the peptide bond. So theoretically, a protein should test negative. The thing is, if the amino acid, or if the protein has very many um, units of lysine, lysine is an amino acid that has um, the NH2 group on it, the free amino acid group. Anyway, if a protein has that, then it can test positive. Um, it also may depend on if the protein is opened up so that those are exposed or not. So I'm just going to say that we get mixed results here, and that's how we should interpret that. Okay, and then lastly, the xanthoprotein test. It actually detects that phenyl group, but because both of these are um, complete proteins, they have the amino acids with the phenyl group, um, so they should both test positive.